Hi guys, welcome to Alt London Podcast. We're back again for another new episode. Uh, for some reason, it feels like we've been away for a really long time, but it's only been like Do you know what? A week. It's true. Yeah. It's so true. It's I'm like, I feel like it's been time. Exactly. Like, it's really weird. But what? Yeah, no, it's a madness. But anyway, you know, but but, but we're, we're consistent out here. Exactly. We are exactly. consistent. Okay. We're back. It's, and we do stuff in Yeah, between. don't at us. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> But we are consistent. But yeah, we're back again for our fifth episode of this fifth. Yes. Six. Six. Why do you say numbers? I'm I'm sorry. I don't know why I say the numbers because I always get it wrong. Why do you? I'm like. I don't know, players. Why do you stay with the numbers? I don't know why I say the numbers. I just feel like, you know, just to get people repositioned. People, never but, say the numbers. Never oh, say the numbers. Oh, oh, wait, but who's this voice? Who's like, this isn't it? Mystery. Oh, oh. <laughs> and that's that's a clue, by the way, guys. That is a that is a clue. That is a okay? clue. Mis- voice is, mysterious voice. Yes, mysterious. Maybe famous to some <laughs> if you have heard of like particular things <laughs> so it's if we've got a fear me and we also have charlene and, and then and we've also got a very <laughs> special guest friend of the show oh. friend of mine um let me just find some words to hype you up um mm, positive yes, positive reinforcement in my life good vibes all yes. the time hilarious yes um mm. contagious laughter Oh yes, I like that one. Yes, <laughs> we've got we've got <laughs> Miss Amelia. I won't say your surname. I was about to say it, but I won't because we don't do yeah, we don't drop surnames. We don't drop surnames. We don't. We don't. But we've got Amelia with us. She is the ho- co host of yeah. Killer Track and also oh, yeah. like a bit of a radio presenter in her own right. So hello, Amelia. Yes. Word hello. up. Word up. Word up. Hello. Thank you for coming on today. Thanks um, for having us. Thanks for having me. <laughs> it's all gravy. How you feeling? How you doing? I'm not bad, but I reckon mm-hmm. I've been in Birmingham now for a little bit, and my voice is extremely brummy now. Yeah. It's very oh, brummy. And I'm just wow. getting. I'm getting used to it. I'm like, whoa. <laughs> oh yeah, because you're talking to two Londoners now. Yeah, yeah. You can hear yeah. when you're talking oh, to people crazy. from outside. Yeah. <laughs> it's really sticking out. <laughs> No, sorry. Oh, wow. No, I love it. I love it. No, we like we love accent. Um, you know, I've actually been known to do some good accents in my day. Uh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, we do. We do feel a lot. I think the one we Can do. Can you is... do a Brummy accent? Can you do a Brummy accent? Though? Look at the strength. Do you know what it is? Look at the strength. <laughs> now, have you seen that video? <laughs> Look at the strength. Look at the strength. Look at it. Charlene, have you seen it? <laughs> no, I haven't. <laughs> I'm, I'm so slow with the social. It's so, but no, I haven't seen it. But you know what? I so I actually lived in Coventry for a part of my life. So oh, like, yeah. I feel like Coventry is like a slow version of the Birmingham accent. Please don't be offended, but it's just facts. Like that's just <laughs> what it sounds like. I'm so what offended. Get like me though? off the podcast. <laughs> Wait, are you are you are you actually from Coventry? No, 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 Brum. Okay, good, good. No, I'm saying that Brum accent is better. Like, I just feel like Coventry is just like it's like I'm going, I'm 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 going to town centre. But like, why are you <laughs> speaking like so? <laughs> no, yeah. but, no, but town like, I'm from the... <laughs> no, but like it's just slow. I don't understand why it's slow. But yeah, no, yeah. I mess with the, I mess with the Birmingham accent still. The only thing about yeah. Birmingham, yeah, is the driving's a bit mad, you know. I'm not oh, home. people are absolutely insane. In, like, absolutely crazy. Yeah. Like, the driving is a madness. Like, <laughs> the, the driving is a madness. I literally, I got almost taken out a few times still. Oh, when God. I was going to, like, oh, when I was going to um, New Street Station, flipping mm-hmm. on me. It's not possible. Oh, wow. Listen, go go past your driving test there, yeah? You'll know. You'll know, <laughs> I mean, you know if you're you'll on know <laughs> You'll it's no full fire. on Mario okay. Kart. It's full on Mario Kart, no, honestly. No, you'll know fire. It's a madness. Wow. Like, do you drive, Amelia? <laughs> no, I don't, but um, my fiance does and he's getting used to driving around Birmingham. And he's just like, blood fucking hell, bloody hell, bloody <laughs> yeah, hell. Um, Everyone's mad. It's a madness, but yeah. Wow. <laughs> Well, <laughs> well. So, like, we wanted to just, we wanted to get Amelia on today. We're gonna ask her a few different questions. We'll get into like why we brought her on just after. We're gonna just do a few little things to just find a bit about Amelia right now. So, mm. just just off the top of your head, um, in brackets, it's not really. I mean, we we do prepare before, guys, so we are organised. But what are the three <laughs> most interesting facts about yourself that you can tell us? This question is so hard because it's like an interview yeah, question. Hard. We're like, so yeah. um, where do you want to be in the next five years? It's like, yeah. like oh, with, yeah. with a job? I don't know. Yeah. Um, 
I guess so. I'm a rock and horror presenter. That is the freaking Ooh. manifestation. Um, Amen. Mm-hmm. Amen so. I also am a deputy editor for a magazine called House of Wax, yes. where we champion oh, cool. POC rockers yes. and indie and everything. So we're on our, our third issue is coming out sometime this year. Love it. So that's oh, really cool. exciting. And I think you guys already said, but I co-host a podcast called The Killer Trap Podcast, where we delve into horror films and talk mm. about new music as well, mostly unsigned. Love yeah. it. Nice, nice. Yes. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. And I almost forgot about the magazine as well, like House of Wax. So, like, definitely yeah. got to shout that out because it's, it's just so unique in itself the fact that it's just run by a person of colour for, for one, a black mm-hmm. woman. Um, and then she's got like two of you guys, and it's all run by women, which is amazing. Um, you know, yeah. and we're focusing on. Do you guys, do you think you showcase mostly people from like the, the rock scene that are like people of colour, or is it more of a mixture? Ooh. You know what, we'll, we'll definitely get into this, but yeah. when we first had our conversation about bands we wanted to champion and bands we wanted to put on playlists and stuff, we were both scratching our heads. So we did like Nova Twins, Bad Brains, um, mm-hmm. Lowe's, like those bands. And then we were like, um, who else? Yeah, like Within so Temptation nice. and then mm, who yeah. else? Like, So we've started championing just bands that are female led. Yeah, that's but we do want to go back into doing stuff with like POC (laughs) bands like we got something maybe in the pipelines I can really reveal relieve what's the word reveal Reveal. (laughs) Reveal. oh yes reveal yes yes yes, (laughs) (laughs) with meet me at the altar that's coming up this year yeah 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 the the what is that so meet me at the altar are literally like the band that I needed when I was 14 so like they're a band it's got like a black girl with like pink braids Um, I think Mm. they're all people of colour like there's one girl who's like there's two black girls and then like an Asian girl I think I think so yeah yeah so it's all like girls they're signed to the same label as Paramore believe it or not so um, Fueled Fueled by Ramen ramen. so good I was like no Fueled by Ramen because we know about Fall Out Boy exactly exactly Exactly, um, Charlene yes but um, but yeah I've never heard of them before that's cool they're awesome they're like so good literally old school pop punk full of energy they look so unique they're just yeah they're they're freaking sick Really exciting. What they called? Ma- I was gonna say married at a disco, but that's <laughs> so bad. What, what band? Does, what? That band sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> that's cool. um, meet me at the altar. Meet me at that's the altar. That's it. Meet me at the meet altar. Me at the altar. altar. Yeah. I'm so, so sorry. <laughs> 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 that band's a good name, though. dude. Claim yeah, it. Disco. Claim it. <laughs> <laughs> married at the disco. <laughs> <laughs> So the next question that we've got, and this is another hard one as well, like me and Charlene are both pop culture girls and Amelia, I think you're like the only other person that I know who is as interested in pop culture as me and Charlene. So we have to ask you like, what are your top three pop culture moments of all time? Again, this is so difficult. This is really, really difficult. So I've kind of copped out a little bit. So apologies, listeners and lasses, apologies, (laughs) but... Number one, anything with New York Tiffany Pollard in. Oh, obviously. Just, uh, just period. Obviously. Period, period, yes. period, period, period. <laughs> period. Yes. I watched this video on YouTube the other day and it's going down her like best catchphrasey moments. And it had, you look like Luther Vandross. And it actually yeah. had, oh, what's her name? Was it Sweetie? That she said, oh, look like, the rapper, oh. sweetie. No, no. Um, oh, no. sweetie. He did that with the, the chicken and she didn't know how to cook it. Yes, the it chicken was, in the yeah. microwave. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah. So sweetie. And yeah. it actually had a picture of her side by side with Luther Vandross. And I was oh, like, oh, no. she weren't she weren't lying. <laughs> oh, she has no. like a little bit like Luther. She has got the Luther in her, oh. just to say. Yeah. Wow. Wow. <laughs> it's evil, evil. So good. And um, I also watched when the first reunion when New York was talking to Lala on the stage and um oh my gosh what was her name pumpkin oh, not pumpkin um book wild throws oh, a shoe yeah. at her oh yeah, and- <laughs> yeah. <laughs> she has so many moments that are too just so funny oh my gosh too but look moments, watch moments. that clip again and watch how close the, the shoe almost hits her it's crazy <laughs> it's crazy <laughs> It's crazy. It's mad. Um, Then my second one was, again, another cop out. Sorry, but just the simple life in general. Yes. Just Uh, the simple life in general. It was really the start of like a whole 
just like new just industry exactly. like honestly like exactly. it's just yeah you have to credit simple life if like before you want to talk about kardashians or anything exactly. else like a really. thousand percent exactly. like, yeah just yeah definitely p- pioneering is the word i'm looking for definitely yeah. Yeah. definitely agreed for sure i mean who knew that we'd want to watch paris hilton travel across the country and do like <laughs> exactly <laughs> agriculture <laughs> and house house chores but it's yeah it's crazy and did you, have you guys ever watched like the history of that show? Because apparently it wasn't even meant to be Nicole Richie, it was meant to be like, who's um, Rod yes. Stewart's daughter? Rod Stewart's last, yeah. Yeah, what's her, daughter? What's her name? Oh, yeah. Kimberly Stewart. Yeah, so it was meant to be Kimberly her. Kimberly Stewart, yes. Yeah, but Kimberly then like, Stewart, yeah. she either just didn't want to do it or it just didn't work out, something like that. And then like Nicole was literally the last option, but it worked out for the best anyway, but yeah. Oh yeah, I couldn't, I couldn't imagine so it with funny. anyone else. She's, so she's hilarious. Yeah. She's, mm-hmm. she's so funny. Yeah. yeah, she's great. And then the third one, is just the kind of again it's another cop out and apologies again but just the whole early 2000s as a freaking yeah the whole era just the it's whole no, just legit just the whole era because i was thinking and i was like oh all all this or all the, just just the whole thing the whole thing itself yeah. was so iconic so yeah. many moments in general um I, I think, think it's one of my favorite areas, like for sure. Absolutely, like, just, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, like yeah. just I would love to go back to, like that that period of time for sure. Yeah. Like music, everything, like all just, of it. Mm-hmm. Exactly. TV so shows, good. like it was so good. Yeah, TV shows, shows the clothing, the pedal pushes, <laughs> the Von the Dutch, were disgusting. Oh my everything. Gosh, pedal pushes. <laughs> yeah, do you remember? I remember cramming. My, oh, I couldn't fit in them, but I was cramming my legs. There was, there was some That's pedal pushes crazy, eh? in the market and I couldn't fit in them and I was like cramming my legs in them like I must wear pedal pushes. Oh my <laughs> gosh, that is, that's actually so funny. That is so funny. Yeah, no, that, I mean, to be fair, like Loki cop out, but Loki is sick answer as well, to be yeah. quite frank. So mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. no, no, that was a great answer actually. Great answer. Cool. <laughs> Such a good era, just yeah. No, I'm just I'm at Jerry is reminiscing in your mind, like yeah. sometimes you don't deep it, like especially the music. For me, the music yeah. was just so so big. Like black yeah. music was doing amazing. Yeah. And just the yes, girl, so yes. It was yeah. just such a good time for us. Yeah. Um. Cool. So in terms of like what you're doing now, what was the turning point for you, like when it came to presenting and um and yeah, what route like uh, what was the route you wanted to go down? Like how did you sort of arrive here? So. It's kind of a way back when. It's kind of a long story, but okay. I used to do acting, a lot of acting when I was younger. So when I was about like 14, 15, I was in a drama school. Um, okay. So I used to go to school normally, like, and then at the weekend, Saturday and Sunday, I'd do drama school, and I used to do presenting there. Oh, um, yeah. nice. But I, nice. But I never, I never thought of it as anything just as. I was just it was just a thing to do i didn't think of it seriously yeah. at all um right. and then throughout my life different like casting directors back in the day would be like oh you should look into presenting oh you'd be good at presenting blah blah blah, blah. um oh, and raw okay mm-hmm. yeah and there was an era of tv me and afia was talking about a little bit ago where you had like june sarpong and yeah. um mm. alicia bell and like all yeah. these people so there was mm. representation you could see yourself you could see yeah, what definitely. it would look like yeah. if you were doing that and then it kind of fell off the wagon a little bit so we didn't yeah. really have people that looked like us yeah. Yeah. so yeah. and i think the kind of dream or the idea of me doing presenting kind of died along the same time mm. um yeah i can hear pe- that i can see that mm. yeah yeah um then I picked up the whole singing thing and I wanted mm. to be a Broadway baby. I wanted to do musical <laughs> theatre. Like, you know what, Loki? I can hear the projection. Yeah, hear the definitely. Projection. You've got that Broadway or West End projection in you. That was that the story. plan. That was the plan. But again, what? Wait, quick stop, quick stop. Yeah. What is your favourite musical? Oh, oh. Don't, do, oh, don't do that to me. <laughs> oh, It's either Blood Brothers. Okay, so top, oh. Oh my gosh. Yeah. You're the only person that agrees with me on that. I tell people all the time that that is my favorite musical that I've seen on West End. Yes. Like, oh I thought it was God. absolutely ah. sick. It's, it's thought, amazing. Cr- like we're the only, per- like I've literally I've always say that, it. Blood Brothers, and like no one else ever. Blood Brothers is so sick of you. Like when West End opens up, actually I don't Wait. think it's still on West End. I think it is. It's been running for years. Is this the yeah, one? It's, 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 yeah. it's at a small, it's at a small theater. Right. It's at a small theater. Um, 
but yeah, sorry, I don't mean is to interrupt. It? That's so crazy. No, no one else no, has ever is, said that. That has no hyped me has, up. Can I just no ask, is, is it the table, one where it's like oh. two brothers and they get separated and they yes. come back together? I've yeah. seen, I have seen it, yeah. I have seen it. Well, I think they took us to yeah. the theatre to see that when we were really young. Um, yeah. That is really good. I just didn't ever know the name of it. But yeah, I agree, that is good. I've seen so so, so Jersey good. Boys, which was actually, I didn't want to see it, but it was actually really good. <laughs> and I was like, oh, no, it was, it was actually really good. And I was like, oh. The story of Frankie Valley, right? Or whatever. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I think it is. Yes. No um, idea. Yeah, I think it is. But, uh, what uh, mm. what was the other one you said? You're gonna say it's between Blood Brothers and Oh yeah, Blood Brothers, Jesus Christ Superstar because the music Ooh, is sick. That is a I'm good one. sorry, is the music is, is the music good, that bangs. Is a that is Ooh. a really good one. Oh, I got two more. Wicked. Yeah. Something yeah. a bit more also current. Very good one. So what, oh, we Sophia, have, no, you've never we never have seen to. It. We have I've to. Never been. Right, the iconic guys. theatre opposite Victoria Station. Station like, it was crazy. Yes. Like, I need to go. It's just, it was so good. When lockdown is done, we're going on a trip. To, we, yes. Let's just do a little, let's just see a few musicals in a day. West, yeah, yeah West End, man. A few yeah, matinees. Go matinee. Yeah, yes. go to matinee and go to evening. Yeah, definitely. Um, and then what was the last one you're going to say? Hamilton. Got to be. Ugh, no. Not gosh. Whoa! No, I've seen it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. It's on Disney now, isn't it? It's on Disney Plus. Well, yeah. the 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 recording of the live show, but yeah. I um yeah no I I'm sorry I think I'm the only person that's not on the Hamilton hype. Oh, oh. controversial! Like it's why con- why it's why? Controversial. And I actually saw it. So you know when it first came to the UK, like yeah. we booked our tickets and we had to wait like a year and a half to see it because you know how wow. you're the booking for like mm-hmm, a year and a mm-hmm. half in advance. So we literally booked and for the I just didn't think it was exciting. I'm not gonna lie to you. <laughs> like for me personally, yeah. In the Heights is a fucking sick. I've seen In the Heights twice. Twice on I West, haven't well, seen it in the Heights. Off, off West End though, um, because it never actually went to one of the big West End um, theatres. But mm. um, but one, uh, the King's Cross Theatre, um, mm-hmm. which is like a really cool underground railway theatre, is so dope. Oh, and then one in um, nice. Elephant Castle. But anyway, enough about that. But yeah, In the Heights, <laughs> sick. Yeah. In the Heights, sick. No, okay. Oh. So when the film comes out, watch it. Because okay. yeah. it's coming out of summer. Mm. Um, no. But I apologise to Amelia, you're talking about <laughs> your journey to I'm no, so sorry. No, I am, I am, I am Miss Segway. Like, I segue all the... It's, a, it's ADHD, man. I'm like, duh, duh, duh. oh, yeah. Have you seen the tree outside my house? It's a great tree. Anyway, back to this. Don't don't worry. Don't worry. Um, but yeah, your, your journey to, to um, presenting, though. So you sort of casting director and then you want to be in musicals and then oh yeah this this again is a bit of a segue but i just i really like this story because it was a turning point for me um okay. i fear i fear you know this everybody else <laughs> perk up your ears um <laughs> so i went to an audition way back uh. when and it was for um disney it was for um basically like the princesses on parade and oh, I went wow. to audition. Uh huh. Um, I sent a headshot to be Princess Tiana, and this is before the film came out. So this was years ago. Um, right. Sent my headshot. They were like, "Yeah, yeah, great. Like, come on down." Got accepted. Like, based on the headshot, went down. And if you, well, if you don't know me, I've got like tattoos on my arms and stuff. Back then, I had nothing. Mm-hmm. Um, used to have like quite big stretched ears. Didn't have those or anything. So went down and. You had to do this like first. You had to get measured, um, height and weight, and I literally did that. And then they were like, "Okay, yeah, thank you for coming." Oh my god! And I was like, yeah. um, "So I took the National Express down to London. My dad came with oh. me, and my dad was waiting outside. And then I came outside, and I was just like, I don't know what happened. Like I thought it was a shoe in. You know, there was not a lot of black girls there, and we know that Tiana was a black character. Yeah. So dad was like, "Okay." cool so let's get some food then we'll come back and then we'll see why go on why they didn't want you because let's get some feedback and i was like no 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 like it's embarrassing he's like no 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 let's wait so um oh my gosh yeah we did um a casting guy came out and my dad was like yeah and it was one of no like feedback blah 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 and the guy was like oh um so basically everyone needs to fit in the same size dress right oh my gosh and i was like Oh, and he was like, "Yes, yeah, so work on that, and then come back wow. in a year." Fuck oh off. my days! Oh yeah. My days. Um. So, and I was obviously destroyed. You know, when you're a teenager, you've already got like issues yeah. with body, issues yeah, with looks, yeah. and um. Oh yeah, it was mad. But luckily for me, I kind of just like, 
I was like, you know what? I don't think this acting thing's for me. I really don't. And I know presenting is also based on looks, but mm. yeah, s- somewhat. But that yeah. was just like, after that, started my sleeve, stretched my ears out. I was like, you know what? I don't, I don't care because with the type of acting I was trying to pursue, you had to stay quite like. Um, it's like if you're a model, not like a model at all, but you've got mm. to kind of be a bit of a hanger. So Yeah, you can't right. have tattoos, coloured hair, all that shit. you got to be playing. Right. Exactly. Right. Yeah. And you know, I love coloured hair, all that stuff. So right. um, mm. afterwards, I'm fast forwarding a little bit because this is, you know, this is boring. But <laughs> so, No, it's not. It's not. Let's hear it. We want to hear it. It's like, sit around, young children, gather around. Um, <laughs> afterwards... Like went to BIM, obviously. Oh, did nah. we say the words? <laughs> you did, can say it. Say it? <laughs> it's out I have there no, now. I have it's no affiliations. There. I have no affiliations. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I do, and I'll say exactly what I think. Um, went to the place, and I think it was in the first year. Was it in the first mm. year of fear? Did, was that when I had gallstones? I don't even remember. I think that was second year. Oh my gosh, I yeah, don't remember. Second, it was second but, year. Um, no, it was second year because in first year that's when I started um, promoting, doing like club promotions at Ouch oh, Bar. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I just okay, oh, club promoter, yeah. mad. Oh, okay, it, it was it was sick. Amelia like, is the more a trick people... of all trades, man. Like, I'm telling you, she's done everything. <laughs> yeah, it was great because the more people I got in the door, the more free drinks I would get, which nice. led to me probably having gallstones the next year. But that's all right. Don't worry. That's that's fine. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yes, I just kind of like started disconnecting from singing because I, I figured out I I didn't really want to be on stage singing, but I really wanted to like talk to the bands backstage. Right. right. Um, or I wanted to talk to bands and get them to play Ouch Bar or whatever, but I wasn't, I never got excited about going on stage and I never really, because I was doing performing for like the majority of my adult life in some mm. way, it was mm. really hard for me to like disconnect from like the singing thing. Mm. Right or right. the whatever um and that can be quite hard like that that mm. sort of self-realization mm, i think definitely definitely you know something that i can relate to too mm, but yeah um, mm. yeah like definitely really hard journey for sure when you think you're you want to do something like your whole life or mm. you know you just it's such a deep passion right so mm. yeah i don't think oh, it, yeah. i think a lot of people would be able to relate with that mm, i hear that it's, it's hard especially after oh, leaving sorry, university as well though isn't it because a lot of people are like oh i'm definitely going to do this and then you go to university and you're like actually i really don't like this anymore and that yeah. happens to so many people so yeah it's definitely hard yeah it's like it's a big girl's pants moment when you're like mm. 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 Is this really a bit of me or am I just doing it because I want to please X, Y and Z or mm. I've been doing it for so long that I don't even know what the passion is or what yeah. it feels right. like. Yeah. Right. Um, right. So I was kind of just going through the motions. I A few people kind of <laughs> left the place um, without the, the degree <laughs> and I was like, let me just get the degree. Um, mm. Then after that, I was meant to sing on a cruise ship. Oh, this, oh, this, ha- oh, oh I've done some no, yeah. cruise ship. Oh, I mean, like, that's kind of sick. I love, oh. I love cruise ships. Like one of my favorite times is cruise ships. So to sing on, that's dope. That's mm-hmm. so dope. You got no listen oh, to the story. <laughs> Oh, Afia, do I tell the story? I feel like I'm rabbiting on. You can say no, just, just brief it. Yeah, brief it. Yeah, 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 yeah you should do it. some bullet points. We worked yeah, at a points. horrendous place first. Top shot. I'm gonna say it. <laughs> Top shot. Oh, you both worked there. <laughs> yes. Yeah, we did. What? <laughs> yeah, no, did. that's the like, It's 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 ridiculous. Really Charlie, like. we've been on a journey. Okay, we've been on a we've journey. Been on a <laughs> journey. Yes. We've been on a journey. I mean, I just feel like of all retail, that's just not. That's not it. It's not it. The thing is, it's never been it. Like, I feel like for a very short while, like. Like, I was growing up, like, everyone's like, oh, yeah, touch up. Like, it was then, such like, a the, hype, the, 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 the flex, the flex was up quickly. I don't know about your ends, but the flex was up. <laughs> the flex was up quickly in my ends. Like, I don't know what was moving, like, in... Can we say Brighton? Or not? Yeah, 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 why not? Okay. Why not? I don't know, it was very much a thing in Brighton. Brighton. Yeah, yeah, no, the flex was up, man. Because when they saw the way they were cheating their man on Oxford Street, it was like, nah, fam. Yeah. And then, like... Yeah. And then it's like, my, I had friends that were working at, like, bars that were earning peas. Mm. Exactly. Like, so they were like, why would I? Why would I work at Topshop for four pounds something an hour? Thank you. Thank you. We were getting six fifty. Is that out of order? It's actually out of order. Was it even that? I thought it was less than that. I, it could have been like six pound or six fifty. It was disgraceful, but yeah. It anyway, was a madness. Ah, that's that's even high for Brighton there, because out of London's what I mean to say. Like, you know, that's high. 
<laughs> at the time, I'm talking about at the I, time. Yeah, I guess so. Now. Yeah, like yeah, what was yeah, it? Five, six years ago now. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> but oh yeah, anyway, we digress. Right. No, so you at Topshop just... and then he left and then boom. Yeah. Uh, yes, yeah, so I left. Um, because you know what they say, like, don't tell people what you're doing, just just shock them or just surprise them or whatever. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I was like, I had this opportunity to do cruise ship work and it Amazing. was with another... <laughs> just, just, just wait, dude. <laughs> oh, okay, no, okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> sorry. sorry. Um, so it was with another singer and um, the bassist in the band was the singers. Um, they were together, basically. Right, okay. So I was brought in as the second singer and I was told we were going to do this Caribbean cruise type thing. And I was like, okay, sick. Sounds Clearly. great. <laughs> yeah. Nice, nice. Um, and then, but it was a bit, I was getting a few warning signals. Like we had a manager, but I never yeah. met the manager. Like all that happened oh, okay. was they filmed videos of me singing, like with the ensemble, with the band. And right. um, apparently sent it to him. And he was like, yeah, yeah, cool. She can be on, yeah, that's, that's sick. She can come. Um, and I had like a lot of songs to learn. And I just, my mind wasn't absorbing the songs. Um, right. So it came a week before we meant to go on the boat. I bought a few dresses from like Boohoo or something because top shot money. Um, uh, <laughs> <in it>. <laughs> <laughs> and then, and then um, the other singer was staying at our house when I lived with right. um, Mocket, I fear. And, um, Not the governments, but yes. The, the government? government na- the government names. Well, oh no my god! That no, no, you it's scared fine. me. Scared me. It's like the government. <laughs> no. Oh, it was the government's fault. No, I get well. it. With, the, with that, with their friend, with your friend, or yeah, I guess yeah. Yeah. Oh, sorry. With <laughs> yes, with the friend, with the friend. <laughs> I, I keep forgetting it's on a podcast. I'm like, yeah, Charlene, like this happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. Um, so, any, so like a week before, um, the other singer got a call from the boyfriend saying that I was off the boat, and Ooh. I, yeah, yeah. Um, and by this time I'd quit my job I had told a lot of people mm. that I was doing oh it God. I was like yeah I'm going on a cruise of the Caribbean yeah I'm gonna be singing <laughs> I'm so excited <laughs> I'm so excited, um, <laughs> I'm so excited. oh my yeah. god I'll send you a postcard from the Caribbean um yeah then it all basically fucked up screwed up still don't know why um wow. never was given never was given closure never was given a reason mm. at all wow yeah so um because there was so many like roadblocks i started thinking i need to go back to like when i felt really comfortable and what i really liked doing mm. so now i'm on the presenter journey because that the mm. singing thing never worked out it never was going to work out mm. nor was the acting thing i believe because mm. it wasn't the right thing to do um, mm, mm. So yeah, now on the presenting hype. Woo! Oh, mad. mad. Oh, it tastes and so your yeah, and you're, and you're presenting in specific genre as well, like or specific area, let's say, right? Is that fair to say? Or it's it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's mm. fair to say. Um, yeah, I'm a metal fan through and throughout, like metal, rock. But then also, if I'm feeling the mood, I can listen to a bit of Otis Redding, a bit of Temptations, a bit of Marvin Gaye. But okay, so you're Motown. Motown I'm a, I love Motown, but through mm. and through, I'm a metal and indie presenter, or that's the mm. type of music that I like playing. Mm. Um, so yeah. Love it. Nice. So, I mean, that's that, that's a journey if I've heard one still. Mate. But a good one at that. Like, Dude, it's not even half, but I just don't want to bore you more. Yeah. Like. No, no, not at all. But the thing is, I feel like everyone in, like, who, who like, gets to positions like this, like, um, so I think it's fair to say that we work in industries, in creative industries, right? Yeah. So yeah. we work in creative... Yeah. We work, <laughs> work in creative... I'm trying to sound so ambiguous. But it's like, <laughs> anyway, we work in an industry, no. But it's fair to say in creative industries mm. where, where we will work, like everyone's journeys are just so different and like yeah. so yeah. like yeah. kind of like some of them like a lot i've not heard like a simple straight oh i got this job and i progressed and that's that like i've yeah. never heard that before yeah. like, true, i've true, literally true. never heard that before even today like i was um i was at a talk for the creative industry that i work in and <laughs> <laughs> nice <laughs> and someone was talking <laughs> and this head of something was talking about this <laughs> I was, I was saying that, but the something. point, what, what I wanted to say was, this head of something was like, this head of, she's, 
she well say she is she was very high she's very high up and she's um talking about her journey and she started off as being an assistant to a manager for Jamelia. I can say oh, that. Wow. Um, oh wow for Jamelia for seven years. Wow before Whoa. she even started to like so she was an assistant wow. for seven years for seven to years. the manager of Jamelia. And, that, wow. and then when Jamelia years. had her, when Jamelia had her second oh fuck. I've just got myself up now. Okay, do you know what? Let's leave it at that. Anyway, put it in James Harden it. <laughs> but I, yeah, I get the point that you're saying is like that you have to, I feel like you have to have a lot of knockbacks before you get to your mm. point. So you've got to have a lot of rejection. I feel like everyone's had like loads of rejections. Like, oh yeah, try to apply here. Didn't get it. Try to apply here. Da, da, da. And then eventually yeah, something exactly. works out. Or even with you, Amelia, like you try and do the singing for so long. So many things kept happening. Like you couldn't get on the cruise ship. You just weren't really feeling mm. like getting in bands. And then like finally you got to that mm. realisation was like, okay, cool. This is what I want to do. So like, yeah. It but it's all, it's all part of the journey. Definitely. Yeah, as you say. It's yeah, all part, definitely. like it's all important steps in the journey. 100%. And you don't realise that what skills you acquired then are going to help you now and vice versa. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and exactly. blah, blah. Absolutely. Thank God for the knockbacks because I hate the phrase like thicker skin or whatever, but sometimes mm. when you see, when I've seen personally some opportunities coming towards me, I'm like, that's mm. moving a little bit mad. Like I don't, that just seems mm. like it's a bit weird mm. where mm. past me would have been like, oh, let's do that. But... <laughs> <laughs> now I've got the freaking insight to know yeah. that that's like, nah, gonna be a bit of fuckery, you know? Yeah. So, no, I hear that still. Yeah. I hear that yeah, still. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Cool. So, like, who who is influencing you in the game? So it could be like both. So, guys, I don't think we explained it. But basically, Amelia um, does a podcast. I oh, know you said it. Horror and horror music. You have said it. I'm sorry. Yes. <laughs> but like, so, who has influenced you? Like, if it could be across the like the music scene or like the horror scene. Like, who are your biggest influences? This again was a really hard question because I don't really have that many. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And that's because there's not really anybody that's doing horror, especially in the UK. There's mm-hmm. nobody that does like specialist presenting for film, let alone horror. Yeah. Like mm-hmm. there mm-hmm. used to be shows on, oh, I can't remember what it's called, but there was a show on BBC One. <clears throat> And it was this film critique and he'd talk about like, oh, films to watch at the cinema this week. And that's the, oh, this is years ago when I was like a bab. Mm. Um, Mm. I don't, there's been nothing like that to my knowledge recently. Mm -hmm. Um, Maybe there's things like that online, um, but I've never really, yeah, that's what I mean. You don't really get it. Um, Mm. There's like voices that I love. Like there's an actor called Tony Todd who is like a horror icon and he's fabulous. He plays um, the Candyman for those who've watched the film. Uh, um, or the original one, uh, the Batman. Candyman. The, okay. Yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, wow. okay, okay, okay. Yeah, he's wow. sick and um, research his story. Well, like, again, I won't go into it, but he's a really, really inspirational guy. Like really, really, mm. he paid his dues. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he's a really, really mm. interesting guy. Um, and then I think I mentioned like presenters like uh, like Alicia Bell, like yeah, you said the, and Jude, Jude Sarpa. Like I mean, she was she was huge. I mean, yeah. full back in the day was like yeah, amazing. yeah. Like and it obviously you had like Jamila Jamil as well. Like you know, yeah. the person of color. You know, people think she's problematic now. And Makita, is Makita, isn't it? Makita, isn't it? And her mum. Yeah, her Makita, Makita Oliver. Oliver Nikita yes. Oliver, yes. yes. Sick, I love yeah. her. These so girls. Like, and the, they're actually, do you know what? Channel 4 had small, small, you know. Little bit of diversity. Like, on their yeah. big shows, like, they on their did. big shows, though. Like, they did, they that did. C4 on the weekend, like, yeah. big shows. Yeah. Four, yeah. So do you know what I mean? Channel so, 4 was yeah. revolutionary because no other channel had such a diverse range of presenters. Right. At, when we were back in the day, like, there wasn't another the channel um so that was really inspirational for me Mm, mm, but mm. in terms of modern day like it's probably i was thinking about this it's probably like alison hammond oh yeah oh it's in um on a (laughs) like guys hello good good, (laughs) Good night on itv right she was on fit club or something she was on what sorry no she's on what's on on itv though right she's a contributor Yes, she, she's on ITV. She does Good Morning, not Good Morning Britain. The other one, This Morning. With, Rain, with no. Phil and This Morning, and, yes. She yeah, does This Morning. Yeah. Phil and Holly um, Willoughby, yeah. That's it. Oh, she, yeah, 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 I remember, yeah. She's she funny. does a segment with, what's his name? Dermot O'Leary, because they've got their own bit. Because oh, she used yeah. to just do like little kind of segments here and there. Yeah, yeah that's and what then I she's thought, yeah. now got her own, I think she does Fridays with Dermot. Um, oh, cool. 
but she's also a brummy girl. She's also oh, yeah, a curvy. Of course, yeah. of course, she's a brummy. She's a curvy lady. She was on Big Brother as well. That's where she got her yeah, break on yeah, Big Brother. Yeah, uh, yeah, okay, yeah, uh, just, yeah, yeah. She's she's just a vibe. She's just a vibe. She also did a um, a documentary last. I want to say last year about Black History, and mm. it was sick. Nice. It was really, really interesting, really good. So she, I'd say she's a massive inspiration, actually. Now, now think about it. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's good. Nice. Mm. And it's it's um, so true what you were saying there about like the diversity has changed because you don't really see that much of it today. It is really her and like a few others or the same three people that they seem to like recycle every time. Um, yeah, so, like yeah. I, I don't want to be, I don't want to call anybody out because I love like. At my drama like I love her she's amazing but um I feel like there's not many dark skinned black women there's like not. I want to see a dark skinned black woman exactly. um but yeah like my drama's doing bits she's sick yeah. she's so good but, but I want to see more like yeah she's, she's right. <laughs> Charlene <laughs> but they always use I think, her, like, she, I think she's so. I think she's so pretty. I think she's so pretty. She is. Um, yeah, yeah. I, put, I think. I think she. You know. But I just think. For yeah. No, I'm, I'm cool. Yeah. yeah <laughs> um, don't worry. I'm also but, not saying everything I think. Don't worry. <laughs> but but yeah. um, no. But you're right. She's 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 doing bits and she's she's everywhere here and everywhere. I think also um someone that's really cool is London Hughes. Although she's a comedian technically. We. But, um, she, mm. she. I think she's cool. Do you not like her? I find her very irritating but mm. yeah. I yeah. like I she, her I like, yeah, I like her, her in the way that I could like go for like a drink with her or like <laughs> do you know what I mean I haven't watched her comedy cent- her comedy thing on Netflix because I'm not really she's got something on Netflix I didn't know that she yeah, does she's got, yeah she's got her own stand up special mm-hmm. but oh, I think I just like I think she's done because she was on um, Don't Hate the Players and then she's on yes, um, yes. she does she, she, she hosts the Netflix after party is what they call it oh now, yeah so. yes yeah, she does yeah 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 with uh with uh with uh john spade is that his name jane spade D- david spade david spade my bad david. Uh, uh, um, the, the guy with this the guy with the gray hair the one that was in how i met your mother i'm pretty no no yeah. no 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 is it two, in, uh, two is it two and a half kids huh <laughs> One of them shows. One of them shows. I cannot remember his name. But yeah, it's, yeah, yeah, him. The point is, yeah. <laughs> so she she hosts that. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> but yeah, no. I think um, you're right there. But to, it's interesting actually because there isn't a lot in like mainstream mainstream. You're right. Yeah, there isn't. There's really, not, is it? not not in the same way. Not in the same way. That, like a lot like of them are was. obviously assigned to or tend to do sort of quote unquote urban shows. Obviously, you're throwing away the word like, urban. Yeah. But, you know. Yeah. They tend to see more urban shows. I mean, it turns like mainstream, mainstream. When I think about it, there really isn't many. There's not any, is it? Nah. I mean, obviously, we've got our guy, what's his name? The Restford Ting, the one that um, added um, Piers Morgan. I forget his name, though. Um, but he's, oh. again, mixed race. Isn't oh, he? the weather Which guy. Is cool. Oh, yeah, the weather dude. <laughs> oh, yeah. He's, he's, got, he's got small, small fame now. He's got a small frame. Small fame. Oh, small fame. I was like, what? <laughs> Okay. Yeah, because yeah, he's the one who walked Fine. out. He made Piers walk out. Yeah, him. Yeah, oh, we've got yeah, we've got him. like Mo Gilligan, but I mean, he's a well, he's a comedian. Yeah. So oh, I guess it's different. that's a comedian. I love, yeah. I love Mo Gilligan. He's love so funny. Yeah, he's sick. He's, he's sick. So he's he's sick. He's sick. He's beautiful. Like he's yeah. beautiful <laughs> and he's sick. He's he's from Enzo, it? Where's he from? Paco. I'm from yeah, Canberra. No, yeah. Around oh, is he? Yeah. yeah. He's from South Enzo. London boy. Southeast London. Ooh. Skin no, soft no, like no. Pearl. We're not no. we're not we shouting South London. Shouting South East. Okay. <laughs> what do you mean? Because <laughs> you Let's don't want to claim inclusive. South East sometimes. Let's just be inclusive. <laughs> South <laughs> no, London you don't want to claim South East sometimes. <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> in, terms of, in terms of um, yeah, <laughs> um, in terms of like um, the genre of music that you play. So obviously, you mm. lead to the fact you're you know not a lead. So you said you love metal, indie. That's kind of like your bag. Like, how has mm. it been getting into the industry with that? And I guess actually you can include um, like horror as well, given your podcast and your love for that. Like, yeah. how's it been getting into the industry to sort of you know speak on or represent and talk about and be a part of that sort of industry and culture yeah yeah and genre i should say it's a hard one because i've received many a microaggression just being at a metal night or a metal gig or a metal show like um i speak about a bit on killer track but 
um, like people asking like, oh, do you know it's a metal night? I'm like, well, yeah, that's that's why I'm here. Like, are you gonna let me in or not? <laughs> or oh, um, okay. like Metallica is my favorite band of all time. Fight me. <laughs> 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 but um, when I've been wearing Metallica tops, like, oh, this one guy came up to me, drunk guy in Brighton. What's your favorite Metallica album then? Name the members of Metallica. I'm just like, excuse me? like, And as a black person, you you understand and you know why that is happening. Yeah. Um, yeah. yeah. Do you know what I mean? Or um, my fiance used to be in a, a metal band and people would be like, oh my God, it's really good that you go to every single one of his shows to support him. I'm like, no, no, I'm here because I like the music and I want to see <laughs> the other bands. Like it's got, yes, I'm supporting him, but I actually, I'm not sitting here with my fingers in my ears. Like, I like the music. Yeah, exactly. um, right, right. All loads of other things. But as well, when it comes to horror, there's, a little community on Instagram, which is amazing. Everyone's really nice. Oh, cool. Um, yeah, it's like a little kind of horror family. It's really nice. And there's a lot of, um, there's a big community as well about like black horror, which is really cool. Mm. But I yes. am the only black British person. <laughs> I'm the oh. only British girl, oh. only British girl. And um, I was talking to this but guy. Do you know what it is though? It goes deeper. Mm. I don't mean to interrupt you, but it's like no, go, go, go. when I was growing up, my, my mum and dad were like, why are you watching this? <laughs> like, oh, yeah. so I yeah. feel like it's like conditioning, right? Yeah. Because like, yeah. you know, like my mum and dad are not trying to see demons. Like, <laughs> they're like, no, no they, demons don't enter the home. Do you know what I mean? It's like, true. So, so, so no, like, I love true, horror. Like, true. I love horror films. Like, yeah. I'm a horror yeah, fanatic. And that's why I'm so excited to talk to you today, yeah. as, amongst other things, because, like, I'm definitely by, my, <laughs> by myself. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so I think, unfortunately, it's like, it definitely is a lot of conditioning from our parents, yeah. which means the community is so mm. small. Um, or from the older generation, I should say, you know. Mm, um, it's true. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah, it's no. true. But you're it's right. A... You're right because um, my parents, especially my dad, actually, and my mom as well, because my mom went to go see The Exorcist when it first came out in cinemas mm. with my with my godmother. So she loves horror, and oh, fair my so there you go. my dad as yeah. well. My dad loves horror films, and growing up with an older sister, um, who's like twelve years my senior, she had oh, like. Wow all the f spooky shit she had all the freaking scary <laughs> ass films and because i thought it was a big woman i used to sit and watch a lot of films with her and get yeah. scared shitless <laughs> and then um that's kind of where the love came from it but i was talking to this guy on instagram and we were talking for a fair bit about films and stuff or whatever or mm. whatever the hell it was and um then he said something like oh my gosh like, you, you should see the lockdowns in the uk and how the government's treating us in the uk and i was like no i'm from the uk as well <laughs> This is this is a black guy I was talking to, Crazy. and he was like, "Oh, I thought you, were, I thought you're American. Like, I haven't spoke to um a, a black girl that likes horror." Wow. And that I was just like, "Shame, man." I was yeah. like, "Wow, that's wild." And he was like, "Yeah, yeah. I thought I didn't know you. Was, um, you were British." And I was like, "Yeah." Um, wow. but it's, it's crazy. crazy, and it is it is the conditioning thing. Um, my my cousins, whenever I used to like go to my cousins. Um, at the weekend, they used to bring my like CD player with oh. like Slipknot and like the masks on the front and shit. And they used to be like, what, <laughs> what the is fuck this? is that? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I remember when my mum I mean, I feel in. like it's, um, it's scary. It, it can is. be scary for young kids. Like, I, like mm, it's weird. It's mm -hmm. a weird position because like, I kind of get like sometimes why like your parents want to shelter you. Like I do mm. get that because like some of the images are kind of scary. Like I'm not gonna front. Like when I see Marilyn Manson till this my big age right now, oh, like he scares the fuck out of me. Do you know what I mean? So it's like, mm -hmm. like I like I get it, but yeah. yeah. At the same time, they think to yourself like, oh, are they like sheltering you from like core parts of culture? Like because mm. you know rock I music, to be fair, does make up that. a lot of the music industry and is a big part of like the live media industry especially you know so but do yeah. you not do you yeah. not do you think it's more like religious because i remember a lot of kids and like especially from like mm. black backgrounds were like you're not watching they're like oh, yeah we're not allowed to watch harry potter because you know like the magic and all that stuff it's demonic and like so many people are not allowed to watch like horror things we're not allowed to do things wow. like halloween and stuff because of religious reasons so like we're not allowed to listen to like metal stuff and like for, because of religion so i think it's a lot of that as well yeah i think like, a lot of people i think yeah no, definitely. A lot yeah. of people. Uh, for, for, I feel like for me that it seemed. It, it seemed like there were, you had like the what I would, you know, this is generalizing heavily here, but yeah. you know, what I would consider to be like the, I guess, quote unquote ubiquitous <laughs> regular. I don't know what the word is. Yeah. Um, like pair like like African or black. Yeah. I should say, parents. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who yeah, were yeah. like who were like 
he were like, okay, yeah, I'm not really feeling this, but like, okay, do you, you want to do what you're going to do. Mm. Then he had like the extreme, which is like, okay, no, you can't, you can't look in the direction of a cat because like, you're going yeah, like, yeah. And I feel like, and then all like, you know, the Harry Potter shit and stuff like that, or Lord of the Rings or anything. Like, yeah, anything mm. fancy. Like, like nope, nope, screaming nope. at you like, yeah. are you a wizard? <laughs> <laughs> or shit like that. <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> you know you're but, a wizard. Um, you're a wizard, you know. You're a wizard. <laughs> 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 Put down the stick, put down the broom. Uh, yes. Man. So this is like, I yeah, that. I mean, I, I, I can. <laughs> but, uh, my, my, oh, sorry, go on, go on. <laughs> no, it's just that my mum used to be like, but, I, but, but are you a witch? Like, yeah. Why, yeah, why yeah, must she? Exactly. <laughs> like, like, are you actually a witch? And like, but my parents were calm. They like, too fair. I can't lie. Like, they let me do whatever I need to do. And they, yeah. But um, like, good, they yeah. always. <laughs> but I do appreciate. Like, I had a lot of friends, and I, as as you're saying yourself, and I'm sure lots of people around you, cousins, whomever, who were literally mm. their parents were like, no, I'm not having this. And I just didn't really get it. If I'm honest, I really yeah. didn't get it. As someone who is, I would say, quite religious myself, or my like, my family are openly, mm-hmm. happily Christian. Like, I never really. Mom and dad just knew it was just jokes. Like, they just knew like yeah, okay, it's not that deep. True. Yeah, you can be influenced, and you obviously. You're, when you're younger you're definitely impressionable mm. and that can be sometimes negative to be fair but like you know in general like they were like it's not really that deep you know yeah yeah i, I mean i used to well not i used to here now i grew up in like a white neighborhood um mm. so there was myself and i think another black girl in uh my class at school the wow. secondary school okay. so when I started to listen to a lot of like rock and metal and stuff, because again, my mom really likes metal and rock. So she used to listen to um, soft rock, like White Snake or like ACDC when I was younger. Um, And then when we used to drive place, she used to whack on like, (laughs) is this love by White Snake? Or, and I (laughs) automatically like loved the guitars in it. Mm. but then nice. I'd also listen to like Little Kim, DMX, like Biggie, just everything. But I always kind of came back to um, metal. Mm. And when you put this question down, guys, like, I had a good think about it. And um, it's a bit of a sad story. So sorry to kind of turn the tone. No, no, no. Um, That's it. But when I was at college, my best friend at the time committed suicide. Mm. And... I remember listening to just albums, songs, songs, songs. And there's a song called um, A Little Piece of Heaven by Avenged Sevenfold. And it's it's about, um, <laughs> it's, it's not about suicide or, sorry, trigger warning, sorry. Um, it's about like, um, it's like a kind of horror-ish song, but um, there's a line in the song that says, everyone has to die sometimes. Mm-hmm. And, I remember literally crying on the floor, just like listening to music. And then that song came on and it's just like, it kind of goes into like a really kind of orchestral almost section of the song. And it was just beautiful, even though the song it was wasn't- like a sign for you. It, yeah, it just hit me, it hit me different. It hit yeah. me different than like, mm. um, maybe like R&B music at the time or whatever. Um, mm. It just hit me different. Mm. And mm. I, I was listening to, me. Do you know what I mean? Like it's when they say music moves, it's no, it's not a no lie. The telling, it's not a lie. It's it's, the, it's a fact. When no, say, definitely, definitely. Yeah. And, um, uh, and just oh, sorry, like, yeah. Ooh, just in relation to that. Hello. Hello. <laughs> just in relation yeah. to that. that. I was on because someone coughed and it threw me off. <laughs> <But> <laughs> like, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> We've called the demons to the podcast. But like, yeah, I was just like, not to like fully rewind, but like I totally like mm-hmm. relate to everything that you're saying as like a black girl listening to that music. Cause I think I've spoken to spoken about this in like past episodes. And I think like mm. both me and Charlene relate, were relating to the fact that like black people generally in our area weren't necessarily listening to this sort of music. So like, it mm. was like very like different. And like for my school, especially where it was like majority black, um, and there were like a few white kids and the white kids were the ones, some of them like listened to like R&B hip hop, but like most of them were like emo kids. Um, mm. So like, I was like, what I was like, just trying to fit between the two and I didn't really feel like it. And then as soon as I, I always speak about Hayley Williams, but honestly, like Paramore changed my life. Cause as soon as I saw her yeah. on TV, I was like, oh my God, like this is what I've been looking for. Like this, this woman who's got so much power and like control and like, I've never heard anyone mm. sing like this over rock music. And I was like, oh my God, like this is, 
is like this is it and like that was like a a turning moment for me and like just made yeah. me feel confident and liking what I liked and not really caring about other people so like yeah definitely like this that the scene like saved my life essentially or made me wake up to things in a way so like yeah just basically just I get scene. what you're saying the scene mm-hmm. yeah the scene the rock scene yeah so the scene <laughs> The rock is whatever scene so yeah. No, you uh, yeah, you're, you're right. It, it's it's like your little kind of your outcasts, and I think yeah. because I I've always been like a <laughs> I've always been a bit of a weirdo, yeah. um, and I was always kind of at school. I'm not saying like oh my god, I was so popular at school, but like yeah. I was <laughs> I knew everybody, and like I had I I freaking loved school. Um, Same, but. Yeah, I, it was freaking sick. Yeah. But I was always, I had like my Nightmare Before Christmas shit on and like, I was always a bit of like a, an emo. Yeah. Um, but I never really knew where I fitted in because mm. even my friends um, that I had, like my friendship group didn't like horror or they liked metal, but they didn't really like the horror thing. So I used to go back home and like take my my sister's like old VHSs and watch them or be like oh Natalie can we watch this or whatever yeah. um so I never really had even to this day I don't really have a friend that's like down and out like um that can talk about freaking like universal monsters or like anything yeah. but it's but now I'm kind of comfortable with it because I know it is what it is Mm, and I'm yeah, happy that yeah. I'm different, if that makes sense. If that yeah, makes definitely. any sense. Does that make any no, sense? Definitely, yeah, it makes definitely. sense. Definitely. Definitely. I think I, I, can, I hear you with the horror thing, especially. I'm not going to lie. Metal is interesting for me. But like, <laughs> you know, if you like it, I love it kind of thing. But like, mm. um, but there actually are, I do like, do you know what? I just, I think, I just think it's just down to taste. And I think the issue mm. is that when we were younger, we were taught that like, because our taste is this, it's wrong. It's like, no, right. you can have this mm-hmm. taste. You can be interested in that music. Exactly. I can be interested in that music, but we can both support each other. We can both be cool. We can be like, no one's supposed to like everything, you know? Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. no one's supposed to like everything. And that's just the fact. So you might not like <clears throat> Afro swing or whatever it is. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. And just, it, but it's okay. Like, <laughs> but I think where, I think where it does get mean is like, where you're like, okay, like maybe if you're like cons- consistently like, Da- degrading something that someone else would like yeah. that's just, just not nice yeah. it's not yeah. necessary yeah. Yeah, that's it. so I think maybe that's where a lot of like sad feelings come from because it's like people constantly yeah, like, oh, like exactly. that's just, that's mm-hmm. horrible that's nasty or that's do you know what I mean and it's like exactly. that's that's what I, and kids can be cruel we know that you know mm-hmm. um yeah but as, yeah. but as far as the horror thing like I definitely can relate because I don't know anyone else that really likes horror mm-hmm. now I'm not gonna lie I'm not a connoisseur on the levels that you are let me not let me not let me not let me let me me preface by saying that however i love me i love me horror films i used to like i love horror so yes yes so when i so so little story i could talk about this even though i didn't talk about it before but yeah i basically went i lived in Coventry for a year i said that but i went to uni there for a year and Mm -hmm. the the uni i went to the halls was actually an old an old um, mental hospital oh. in Sane Asylum. Oh my god! So, yes, tell me, tell me. So yes. the hall, so <laughs> so the, for anyone that knows Priory Hall, and so yeah, so it was um, so basically it was like a long block, like a long block, and it just had like. 60 rooms along one long corridor and it had like a bathroom like every six rooms or something so literally mm. it, and they hadn't they hadn't like rebuilt it so they repurposed it for the halls but it hadn't like rebuilt it so oh like it was crazy so my room was at the end of the third floor um i was room like 60 so like i literally had to walk bare long from the lift Mm-mm. to get to my room like through loads of doors whatever and i was in the corner so i had like a corner room so directly opposite my door was just a wall and there was a window to the left and so i used to literally <laughs> i used to oh sit gosh. there i used to be in my bed <laughs> i used to be in my bed and all you'd hear is ah! like, I, used to, oh, no. <laughs> I used to sit in the door <laughs> I used to sit in the dark. <laughs> I'm so sorry, you're gonna have to take this down a few because the waves just went a bit mad there still. No, I like but, it. <laughs> but um I used to um yeah, I used to just sit there and make myself so scared. <laughs> and then like one time my friend who actually had in the podcast, shout out to you, Krishnan, um, he, he came he um um he 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 came and like I think he was like, Why is this bitch screaming? Like <laughs> like I don't <laughs> Like, I just used to scare myself and like, it was actually so crazy. Like I used to sit there and watch like Sinister or like, 
Yeah. Oh my god, sinister. Literally just yeah. like yeah, no, literally like um insidious <laughs> and like just all yeah. these films like yes. find myself <laughs> in the corner in darkness. And I don't know, I kind <laughs> oh, of no. do like like it. But then yes. it's like <laughs> I took my sister to um the cinema to watch The Purge, which some people say it's horror. I would say it's it's not horror it's like horror, but it, it, mm. it's a it's yeah. Th- I'd say it's a thriller. A thriller, yeah. thriller, but with horror tendencies is how I'm gonna put it. Yeah, a bit um, of gore. Mm. but it's not it's not it's not proper horror like yeah. horror horror. Um, but yeah, at one point <laughs> it was crazy because she was like, I don't want to see this, but she came to me anyway, went to go see it, and then I was like, I was holding on to, her, I was like, I screamed, and she's like, Charlie, but you brought us here, like, <laughs> so, like <laughs> do not hold on to me because you brought us here, <laughs> like we, no, <I> love <laughs> we are that. suffering because of you. <laughs> so, but I, yeah, no, so. Yeah, yeah, I literally just don't have anyone to do, but I, I love horror so much. So, I sorry, it, I, that yeah. was such a long t- tangent. I'm so sorry to talk No, it was so good. It was good. Um, it was good. It's nice to hear. But I just wanted to ask you if you had to ask, sorry, if you had to offer three projects, I want to say movies or TV series, but either or, of mm-hmm. someone who maybe wanted to just take a little light touch into it, you know, wasn't, didn't, wasn't very, very, um, wasn't very very brave let's say <laughs> but like you know wanted to take a light touch into the horror sort of genre um and i guess actually the same for metal or rock music if you like yeah but that might what be a little bit saying? harder but yeah what what would you suggest yeah that's a good question so, so for horror things i would always suggest buffy the vampire slayer yes, oh, yes! <laughs> because it's literally my favorite show hands yes. down what a mind team honestly mind team. and Ugh, there's a lot of it. really scary elements like the if you guys have seen it the episode of her called hush with the gentleman do you remember that one Ooh, and the got the like that, float right? they float in the street and they oh, stole yeah. buffy's voice <laughs> box oh, yeah. and then he did the hearts like just I mean, come on. Josh Whedon is now kind of problematic, but... Mm. Oh, yeah. Fuck, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, yeah. Unfortunately. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, um, it's so problematic. It's actually really sad. But, but um, Buffy, it's on Prime, actually. We'll shut it It is. Because it's, yeah, it's on Prime. All on Prime. And Buffy's yeah. sick. Like, the Sarah Michelle Gellar is literally a queen. Like, I love oh, her. She is, man. Oh, she my is. God. She, I um, mean, cruel intentions. Cruel oh, intentions. my God. Cruel intentions. Oh. <laughs> Let's not even begin. So yeah. good. Yeah, that's not begin. <laughs> yeah. Actually, mentioning Cruel Intentions, other films I'd suggest is like your teen horror. Yeah, so, true. You like your Scream, Urban Legends, Jeepers Creepers, mm. and I know what you did last summer. I was going to say, love... would you class that as a horror film? What Jeepers Creepers? I know you did last summer. No, Absolutely. I know you did last summer. Oh, I know, yeah, no, I Mr. Know what you did. Oh, yeah. Mr. I know you did last summer was crazy. I love that film starring Sam Shagella and Blooming, um, what's his name? Ryan Murphy from Cruel Intentions. Yeah. Ryan Philippe. Yeah. Ryan, Ryan Felipe. 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 Ryan Murphy. Good. Ryan Murphy does um, American Horror Story. Yeah. He's a uh, oh, yeah. What am I thinking of him? <laughs> I mean, like, people could watch American Horror Story now. Or is, I mean, that's not even... It's weird, but, yeah. It's I would great. Say that. I, I really liked it. For people really who are getting into horror, yeah. Let me tell you I what like you American can watch, Story, but I, really I would, like... It. like Mm. Proper warn you before doing that. Fucking Lovecraft Country. What is that shit? It was. Cr- oh my god. Oh no, we god. see that. We, me and Amelia had a conversation it's, about this because there's so many. Mm-hmm. So like, it's. I thought it was a it's really crazy. great series. I thought it was really good and really scary. But then Amelia told me that the um, HP Lovecraft. That's yes. Thing, isn't it? He was like. It is indeed. What was he like? He was like. The, so he was basically what the story was based on. But he was a writer yeah, and he, he was like yes. really racist or something like back in the day. But like, yeah. I think you have to watch it because watching it. I think they try and like turn that on its back in a way because like the person who ends up writing Lovecraft in the end is actually like was the son oh, wait, don't, so don't they, oh yeah okay, we haven't finished it yet oh, it's not, it's not that much of a spoiler yet. but like yeah so like they've changed it so it's not really about that so like mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. but no it's, re- it's really really good and like really scary and like different to see it's black it's so it's so it's scary great. and I think um, like we I think I think we've spoken to, about this before Charlene and also like me and you Amelia we've spoken about this loads of times but like it just shows mm. like from when people like Jordan Peele have come in and changed the horror industry for like black people because black people never saw themselves in horrors and if we were in horrors we were the first ones getting killed in it like you know how it is exactly so like yeah. so, when, <laughs> so when when like get out <laughs> so when like get Get out came out we were like what we're in like a horror film and like actually we like turned out we didn't turn out well in the film but you know like we didn't die so that was nice <laughs> yeah well. <laughs> but like yeah. we, we would were you class right. that as horror yeah uh, oh horror well hello get sorry out. it cut out weird <laughs> i didn't hear you sorry would you class get out would you class that as horror 
Oh yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, 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 absolutely. And yeah. get oh god, I don't want to. I don't want to go into antebellum because I just, I, I literally can't. Oh, I ain't got yeah, the strength. Oh, no. I ain't got the strength. Get into that. Oh, I ain't got the strength. Charlene, a fear will tell you if you don't know what I'm talking about, because, oh, my God. Um, it's a new horror film but, that anyone's not seen, and that's basically, like, trauma porn. It's all about slavery. It's, so it's just not yeah, nice. It's, oh, really? Yeah, really? It's nice. literally, it's literally just disgusting. It's coming it's out really. on the 1st of um, April, but we were lucky enough at Killer Track to get a sneak peek, so we watched it. Um, oh, wow, okay. From Lionsgate, and we were really excited to watch it, and then it was just absolute torture porn for 40 minutes and i was like what oh the hell is this yeah and it's um, just, it feels like we progressed so far with like jordan peele so why are we like doing that do you know what i mean like there's so much more it doesn't always have to be about like slavery it doesn't always have to be about like getting in gangs and stuff like that there's more to us than like these very little things do you know what i mean well not little things but you know what I mean? we're putting we're putting yeah. thing, we're putting us in a box essentially like there's more things than that so jordan yeah, peele no, is amazing things. because He's, re- he's literally revolutionising black horror because the way yeah. that he writes us is amazing. The way that he yeah. has the kind of comedy beats, if you want to talk about Get Out, the way the comedy beats are in there that literally just doesn't segue I you from the tension. for Obama for a third time. Exactly. Exa- <laughs> exactly exactly it's freaking great like it just blends in and doesn't take you out of the story or the narrative yeah. like the mm. twist at the end won't wreck it just in case people haven't seen it don't know why you haven't seen it yeah, but I mean, <laughs> i'm dude i'm literally like i i predict ends like of horror films for fun like i always guess the ending um and i literally didn't see get out come in for a while and then i was like no, oh okay you know what? Gonna- no, mm. no no do you know what though on a serious night like, sorry, fuck it if you haven't seen it because it came out a time ago. When she switched up, <laughs> when she switched, <laughs> no, when she switched up, yeah, and yeah, she was, that was I like, I know what? what the fucking keys are. Yeah, I, yeah, it, you know, I can't give it a key, don't you, babe? You know, I yes. can't do that. I was no. like, oh, sorry. I was shook. I said, yeah. yeah, I was like, he was like, he's like, where's the keys? Where are the keys? He goes, I know where the fuck. I was like, I was like, sorry, I was blown. Yeah. Mm-hmm. mind blown. Same. You mind know, blown. I can't give you the keys, don't you, babe? I was like, oh, wait, 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 mind blown. Fantastic, fantastic. The use, everything, the use of music. Like, yes, if you want to talk about mean. us, Jordan Peele remixing, I've got ding, five ding, on ding, it. Like, just, ding, oh my yeah. God. I got five. <laughs> like, I got five. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was oh, crazy. Oh that was my crazy. God, literally. But had what? me on my back. I was like, oh, this is so blooming <laughs> 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 What about yeah. what about music though? Like, what music would you recommend to people trying to expand or you know like mix up the genres in their like, palette? Like metal, yeah, their palettes. That's a hard one. Um, I would it's say hard. to there's loads of kind of like POC bands to check out. Number mm. one. So we mentioned Meet Me at the Altar. There's a band coming up called Pink Shift who are amazing, really psychedelic mm. rock. Ooh, then you've got yeah. Lowe's that are out at the moment doing bits really hardcore metal um just yeah sick and there's an old school band called death it's like a black punk band and they are sick but Mm. nobody knows who they are (laughs) they're really underground like the cool yeah death they're freaking sick or um more widely known there's a band called bad brains which kind of revolutionized rock and hardcore and yeah. they're a, a black they're a black band and how did they revolutionize it out of interest it wasn't like, happening what do you mean by that? The, the stage shows they were doing was completely pure energy. They were leaving their okay. souls on the floor and no one was really doing okay. that. Like before Bad Brains came about, people were still playing hard, but they were more kind of like shoegazy. So playing, looking at the floor. But when Bad yeah. Brains came out, they were literally explosive. So now if you look right. at like um, from Fever 333, three, you got like Jason let Butler. Let Live, I was if just going to say. Like, let Live, Jason Butler. If you look yeah. at someone like him, yeah. Like even yeah, let live and three f- fever three three three. Yeah, his performance style is coming from like a bad brains. Mm-hmm. Like you know, but, but he he definitely knows who bad brains are because like you can you can just tell. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, I'd say those bands. Okay. That's quite a few. Okay. Yeah. Sorry. No, that's <laughs> I was like, wow. no, 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 that's good. I think at the end of the day, like it's good to it's good to 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 highlight a few because I like everything you just said to me is like is like a foreign language. I'd never heard anyone <laughs> that you just said to me. <laughs> like at all um so um and i think i'm like well i thought anyway that i 
But yeah, I think Jay you know what it is people of color, rock mm. and metal bands. It's just so far and few between that. Mm. Actually, I was thinking to myself like, can I actually think about even the band that I, a rock band that I know or like, mm-hmm. that has a black person in it? I actually don't think I can. Mm. I do. You know, Skin Dread. I feel like you'd know them. And no. they're, and they're like oh, skin, rock oh, reggae. God, yeah. And like that, yeah. see, see that was crazy. So he's like a black black guy, dreadlocks, like Caribbean Benji, guy. Benji, like, yes. Yeah, yeah, sick. And like- The so Welsh, they, dude, the Welsh. Yeah, the Welsh, yeah, yeah. And they mix mm. up mm. reggae and like metal. So he's like, he'll like, he'll be like, I'm not, he'll be just singing like patois, right? And then like, he'll start doing screamer. You're like, what? Like, it's crazy, mm-hmm. but it's so cool. Um, so that was like a very mind blowing thing for, for me to see. Howard, when he mm. was in um, Kill Switch Engage, was really cool, black oh, guy. How, oh, how, oh, how was? Yeah. Oh, Oh, Howard Jones. Well, I guess they're not. Daphne. Uh, yeah. Well, no, actually, oh, Shonin, you know Skunk and Nancy, right? So Skin. Oh, yeah, yeah, so of that's course. That's probably like one of the most mainstream, I say, with like a black fronted person. Uh, yeah. yeah. I would say that. Like, Wait, yeah. would you, what would you call, call Bombay Bicycle Club? They're indie. That's indie, yeah. Okay, yeah, so like indie, person, indie rock. You know. Like indie rock, I'd say. But indie. Is there a black person that band? That's, that's actually. I don't even know there's a black person in Bombay Bicycle Club. I swear club. there's a black person in I Bombay Bicycle I think you're club. right. No, I think you're right, yeah. <laughs> I swear yeah, they're yeah, right. Like, like, right. Yeah, <laughs> oh, wait, Block Party. But, like, but Block Party is indie, though. Block Party with Kelly. Block Party is indie. Oh, no, maybe yeah, I was, was indie, I not thinking about Block Party, then? May- maybe I, I mean, maybe, yeah, yeah. Maybe. But there's so yeah, few Yeah, no, it's of not us. Bombay. You're right. So few of I mean, it's crazy. It's not until you sit down and actually think. You're like, hmm. Do you think, though, that's not... Do you think, though... Is it not without, is it because of people not trying? Do you think it's just because really there is less, obviously, well, there's less rock band of black with black people in them, specifically I'm talking about, versus like, there not being enough visibility on it. Do you know what I mean? Mm. It's a hard one. It's a hard one because- I think we have to, I think, I think we're gonna, both. I think it's probably obvious. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah. it's obvious that there's gonna be more of different genres, yeah. especially, you know, where we all come from the Caribbean, Africa, mm. you know, of course, like mm. a lot of the music is going to be like, you know, influenced and originated from that, which is great. That's, you know, sort of the cultural, you know, genre, if you like. Mm. But, um, but I think, yeah, I think you're right. It might be a mixture of both, but I think it's probably, mm. like, I think it's probably still more though, that there's less just in general, but then even those that are, you know, formed and are doing things, they probably don't have as much visibility. Yeah, I think as well, it's the people at the top because yeah. Yeah. nothing is going to change until the people at the top are looking for something a bit blooming different. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah. it doesn't matter mm-hmm. how much we hoop and holler and like say mm-hmm. we want change, those people at the top, they are, that's the glass ceiling. Yeah. And unless that is broken, nothing, that is not going to be one iota of any yeah. difference I hear that. at all. And it's it's a sad thing, but it's... It's, it's a fact. Mm-hmm. It's I a fact. Yeah, I think I was... it's the same thing though, of like even country music too. Like yeah, country true, music, it's true. like literally like, but even that like, you know, things are starting to happen. But my thing is that the consumer, the country, the country the people, the sort of the core, they don't, they're not really trying to see more black people in it though. Oh yeah, like, no, oh, like, country music is And the reason I say that different. is because look at fucking Morgan Wallen, bruv, like who's number one in the charts, screaming up nigger all like, all over oh, the gap. And he's like, yeah. wait, and he's got, yeah. he's, he's number, he's been number one in the charts in mm. America for the last like three weeks since it happened. Wait, what? But oh. And his, uh, yes. his, uh, his other album, his other album is in the top 20 as well. So he's got yes. two albums. Oh in top 20 since he started screwing up nigger. Great. Right? Lovely. <laughs> so that to mm-hmm. me tells me that the country consumers, and I'm um, again generalizing here because of course not everyone's like that, but it tells me that like, they're like, okay, cool. We like the space we're in. So I'm thinking, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm again generalizing, but I would imagine this could apply to a genre such as rock mm. at times. I, you know? I think country is oh. a different thing because country, <laughs> Who was it that tried to do a country music? Was it Kay Michelle, I want to say? Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah she did. Was it? it? Was, it was <laughs> she's Michelle. a yodeler. She's actual yodeler. Yeah, she, yeah, she's a yodeler. Yeah, yodeler, yeah. 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 She's a yodeler? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. 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 Is she? she no did. way. Yeah. But um, yeah. she tried to do that. And I remember when I saw it and I was like, oh, they're, they're not, I'm sorry, but they're not going to accept you. They're just not. Yeah, that's they're what just, I was they're thinking. They're just not. Yeah. Seen as, yeah, yeah. I wish they would because I'm all for difference and I'm all for people trying different shit. But yeah. they're not gonna. They're, they're just not like yeah. country music is again. Yeah, generalizing, but I know not everyone's like this. But 
if you see like a country music show or whatever on TV, there's Confederate flags, man. Mate, and he's that's yeah, not exactly. the vibe. Do you exactly. know what I mean? Like num- point blank period number one. Yeah. So it's it's like they don't want to see the black woman wanna. just won the Grammy, didn't she? So that's a big deal. Oh yeah, so. didn't she sing it? That Grammys is true. Well, that's true. That. Yeah. Oh, did yeah. she? Yeah. she sang, oh. So it's like yeah, a big deal. Sang, yeah. yeah. Like, cause it's but it's really hard to break into that space. You mm. know, this is just really random. But I don't know if you guys ever. I always want to go on the walk tour. Oh my you know, god, are you joking? The Warp oh Tour. That god. was I the li- always to go That tour. was my dream. Like, and when they brought oh it to the UK, god. do you guys see when they brought they it brought to the UK? Warp Tour to UK. I, um, I was, it was yeah. a shit version, so it was only at Brixton Academy. I was like, what do you mean Brixton Academy? It should be outside. I like, don't remember how that. They, yeah, they brought it, but the tickets sold out quick. So they were doing it like you could. They, I don't know how they did this, but I think there was like another stage that they'd set up within Brixton Academy. But it was like some bands were on from this time and that time. Then you'd like go to the next bit and then see that, and then you'd come back. So you just go between the two different stages. But yeah, they did it in London, like what two thousand. I just wouldn't even want to go to it. I wasn't allowed to go. I wasn't anyway. allowed to go. Oh, oh wait, were you trying to go to that one as well? Because you remember yeah, that? Yeah, yeah, I was. It was sick. Oh, I really wanted I wish to go. I wasn't allowed to go. That's, that's, that's when a lot I of those feel like bands... For you to experience Warp Tour, you just need to go to America. So oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Oh, yeah, like, that would be I w- the I would full want to go experience. to Warp Tour to one of the stops in America oh, and like be in that shit. Like yes. try and do it at Brixton Academy. Like I'm not even Exactly, it's dead. <laughs> but, that, but that's how a lot of bands got their like come up in. So like Paramore, that's when they were first starting to do their tour in 2005. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, takes me back, man. But like, I just want to go back to what you were saying, Amelia, about the industry having to change. And I, th- I feel, I feel like we experienced that. And I think you said this as well, Charlene. Like, you know, when you're singing, they're like, "Yep, yeah, you got to be a soul singer." When we're at university, I'm talking oh, about, God. they put you in a box yeah. already before you've even decided on yourself. And I feel like mm. um, I've, I've definitely like done that with myself because um, I have always sang like R&B and hip hop, but I do really enjoy singing like the more alternative style, which is what I've discovered recently. Um, and mm. I think like as Black people, we really have to try to not put ourselves in this box through fear of like what other people think that you should be doing or shouldn't be doing um so yeah i think it's important i would argue though that like Mm. no i agree i agree i would argue though that like um alternative is becoming more mainstream now which is good which is a great thing so like whereas you said that you would say you're more alternative i wouldn't i I, I was thinking about your your music because i listened to it the other day and i actually wouldn't even say that you're i think I, don't, I wouldn't say you're alternative mm. because like mm. in terms of like I think you're te- alt soul but alt soul is becoming like more mainstream like with yeah, the, people true. like SZA and people like that so like mm. you know there's like there's just such a space for you know Definitely, the music that yeah. you kind of make there's, yeah. But, yeah no I agree the, and there's more like alternative black people coming on the scene as well which is like crazy and they're, yes. always, they're all coming from like California and shit like that um, but like with the internet like I, I never saw people like that growing up um, so it's really yeah, nice true. to see that now true. and I think true. The uh, Gen Z are so lucky because they're like so open-minded with the music they listen mm. to, like the, the type of people that they are. Um, so yeah, I think they're quite blessed with that. So yeah, if we take a There's leaf a out of their book. Yeah, yeah, no, you're, you're thousand percent right. There's a band called, I'm sure you guys heard them, like the Nova Twins and yeah, yeah. they yeah. are doing so much. Like they're yeah. literally all the things I wish that I could I could have done like at their yeah, age. Like yeah. they wrote a letter to the MOBO Awards being yeah. like, why is it not a rock and metal category for, you know, you're talking about black people, mm-hmm. we do rock and metal, why aren't we getting our flowers? Mm-hmm. Like they also um, did this thing with Doc Martin a few, I think it was like last month called Voices of the Unheard. Yeah. And the bass kind of like hosting a mini show where they talk to, um, bands of colour and they released a um, a vinyl with some like bands as well and it's just sick and it's girls like that or people like that that are really going to make changes and waves definitely but yeah it's who's who is listening to those people because they're anomalies at mm. the moment mm. but you know there's people fighting to make change definitely. but they're just not being le- like I said glass ceiling yeah hopefully mm. it's changing no, unfortunately um yeah. so we've just got a couple more questions for you though so like in your oh. <laughs> in your opinion um what do you think that we can well i think we've already spoken about this actually so i'll go on to the next question i was so, gonna say yeah yeah i was gonna say <laughs> what so what advice would you actually give to people who wanting to like step foot in the radio presenting industry like how would you recommend they start things uh, well as you know i'm still on my journey i'm still yeah. figuring my malarkey out but I've been lucky enough to talk to a lot of people because I can't 
I don't know how to rest. Like, and that sounds so cliche and, and shit, but it's actually true. Um, so you my work first hard, man. tip. You work hard. <sighs> man but the thing is when it comes to me sitting down and relaxing um, i just watch horror films like i don't really do anything else but that's, um, like your, that's your relaxation though that's true Which that's, that is, is true. It's kind of concerning <laughs> but like <laughs> you raise like, your blood that's pressure your like relaxation that all but I'm, I'm still kind of freaked out for you <laughs> not, not too brilliant but yeah i think a big thing for me is learning to turn my phone off because i'm always like googling people or looking on sites or whatever so there's relaxation but are you really relaxing is your brain off which mm. is the that's that's the key um but in terms of the presenting thing I'd say know your niche and don't let anybody try to change up your mind. Yeah. If you love gardening and you want to be like a presenter that does gardening, go for it. Like right. film yourself in the garden, do little self takes. If you want to do a podcast on gardening, start one or just start mm. getting. I'm I'm quite lucky because I'm I'm gobby as shit, but like <laughs> <laughs> get used to hearing your voice back, even mm, if you're voice yeah. noting a friend just listen back to your own voice notes and get used to hearing your own voice yeah, um, yeah that's real because that's, that's a big one because sometimes some Proper. people will record their voice for like a self-tape or a demo or whatever a friend recently did one um sent it to me she's like i just sound horrible and i was like no that's that's what you sound like your voice is fine but you're just <laughs> not used to hearing your voice back do you know what i mean yeah yeah, um, yeah no definitely it's that's how it was when we started this we were like uh <laughs> yeah, yeah god is that me <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine yeah that's a big one and um the third one this is a bit um analytical but when you start reaching out to people literally make a database of every single person you've spoken to because yeah. and that's for two reasons number one you're tracking who you're talking to so you can do your chase up emails like hi i sent you a demo have you heard it but do you need any mm. more information from me but number two when you hit your the end of the journey and when you hit where you want to go how sweet is it going to be to look back at all those people and mm. the journey and be like it was that one person that opened the yeah. door do you know that's what i mean real. and that's literally what that's i've real. done at the moment and um i like i highlight people that i get responses from or like write down positive responses or whatever and just it's going to be so glorious to look back at this list and be like you know what <laughs> Hello, sorry. <laughs> I couldn't think of a word. It had to be a sound. No, I think that makes sense. No, that's <laughs> that real. Makes sense. That's real. Because my other that's big so thing real. as well that I haven't even mentioned, like obviously horror and music, but I'm also a massive like cartoon fan. Like, mm -hmm. I'm a massive cartoon fan. Um, a friend. Oh, you guys might actually know this. Um, a friend sang a theme tune to me. It was like Amelia. It's not a cartoon, but it's like a it's an old school Nickelodeon thing. What is the, what what is it? Cause it's in my head, and it's like. And I was like, oh, it's Taina. Taina, yeah. Taina, Taina. Um, so like, yeah, massive like old school cartoons, old school kind of like sitcom fan, especially cartoons. And one of my goals is to, I would love to present something where it's like a flashback kind of thing about cartoons or like something for disney Ooh. or something oh, yeah. i don't know but the fourth thing is like dream it which sounds so cliche and crap but if you can't see it on the tv that that's that's brilliant that's a good thing mm, yeah. <laughs> that's a good thing that niche. Mm. Yeah, it's that's good true. don't let anybody make you think that something's too like obscure or it's not happening or if you want to do it, it will come work hard facts, work facts. hard Facts. You have to put the work. Um, I've got a question. Sorry, so yes. we're referring back to when you know we we're growing up and that. Um, Disney or Nickelodeon? Oh, oh Nickelodeon, a thousand percent. Oh, thousand. Um, so when you say when you say Nickelodeon, what shows are you referring to? Like Clarissa knows it all. Like Sabrina. Clarissa, do you remember? <laughs> no one remembers the Tucker. Show. Is it Sweet Valley High? Love Tucker. Sweet Valley. Valley. Oh, was that on Nickelodeon? That was Nickelodeon. That's 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 shit. That was. That was on that Channel Five, much. wasn't it? No, wait, yeah, I, swear, I was gonna say it wasn't. I on Nickelodeon. swear it came on Nickelodeon though at a time. It used to come on like I late at night. Late at night. <laughs> I'm telling you. No, and then obviously you had like you had um, the Nick Cannon show, which was a uh, uh, oh, um, all and out. Um, all no, what? Out. No, oh my god, no, no. one. No, I'm thinking of one out. What was it called? 
no, no, all that, all that, all that, all that, yeah. All that, all that, that's it. yeah. And then like obviously all sister, that. sister, yes. Keen and Kel, oh, um, and Kel. Dex, Dex's laboratory. No, that was cutting. That's, network. That's that was like Cotton Network. Yeah, um, yeah. And but then, then you had like um, Ren and Stimpy, Doug. Like I love Ren and Stimpy. No, wait. What was my favorite show though? I love Tucker. Tucker. I actually watched Tucker recently. Oh, yeah, Tucker. I fucking oh love my Tucker. God, yes! I loved Tucker. Tucker was um, good. The oh, butt with the, Tucker. Like, he made me, he oh honestly was a big deal for me. Like, with that, the with the skateboard. I think that's why I started loving skateboarding. Like, skateboard yeah, and like with cool. McKenna, with yeah, McKenna next door. Was he was great. paying, what do you mean? He was paying. <laughs> <laughs> he was like one of my first crushes. Don't do that. <laughs> like, they, nah, he was paying. And with McKenna next door, and she was dating yeah, um, Seth yeah. Green. And oh then, my like, god, yes, Seth Green was in that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he paid nice. himself. Well, a high inversion of himself. Um, and uh, yeah, no, Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon was cool, but I still love Disney Channel though, because you know, Lizzie McGuire. Yeah. Oh, Raven, oh Lizzie. Yeah. It was like, just, it's just Stevens. the, it's just the thing at the start, like the, everyone knows about, it, but the Disney Channel, like the Mickey Mouse ears thing, the glowy oh, yes, stick thing. Oh yes, it's not the show. I yeah, want to do that yeah, yeah. so, so badly, fun. I can't even tell you. <laughs> and that's that a Raven from Nessa. Yeah, she's like, I'm Raven from Nessa Raven. Favorite. And you're I'm watching Raven Disney Channel. Raven from Nessa And you're watching <laughs> Disney Channel. <laughs> <I'm> like, <laughs> yeah. Favorite one favorite cartoons are definitely Powerpuff Girls. Yeah, um, a thousand percent. Yes. And actually, they're bringing out Cowardly a live action movie. Dog. Don't what? talk to me about it. Don't talk to me about it. I don't want to know. No, no, yeah, no, no, no. no. Movie. Uh, no, and then one of my other personal favourites, which was on Fox Kids, was Totally Spies. I fucking love <gasps> it. Totally Spies! Yes! Totally Spies was loved Can it. we please dress up as Totally Spies? Yes. I don't know when. <laughs> I want to do, yes, I want to do one. Who are you going to be? I'm going to be Alex. I think Alex was yellow. I'll be Alex. I'm the green one. I'm the green one. Can't remember the name, but I'm the green oh. one. <laughs> so that means you're red. Um, but yeah, no, man, that's <laughs> memories. And that's what I'm saying. I love that era, man. I love yeah. that era so much. So pure, much. Pure, pure nostalgia and pure, like, good, clean fun. Like, mm, freaking, yeah. like, Kim Possible, all that crap. It's oh, just, like, yeah. good, <laughs> clean oh, fun, yes. man. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'm a big girl. We're all at different. <laughs> we're all at different parts. Yeah, in the no. same <laughs> oh my gosh! What about fucking my cousin Skeeter as well? Oh, oh yeah. Love it. <laughs> Kyla Pratt, man. Oh yeah, yeah, oh. yeah. Do you guys? Oh what God. was that show? Oh, no, that was Megan Good, wasn't it? Was it Megan Good or Kyla Pratt? Huh? It was Megan Good. It was Megan Good. Oh yeah, Megan yeah, yeah, yeah. Was yeah, it was. No, Kyla Pratt was stupid puppet. Did you guys watch Smart Yes. Family. He's a smart yeah, guy. Yeah, did it, did it, did it, did it. Smart guy, guy. Is amazing. And that, yes, smart that. Guy. <laughs> Proud family. Wanna make this Oh, no, nah, them days, man. Oh, Proud forget. family's coming them back, days. isn't it? What? It oh, is, wait. it is coming back. Yeah. But at least they're bringing it back as a cartoon, yeah, which is yeah, good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because yeah. I just feel like all this live action business, I'm not, I'm not understanding exactly. it. I'm not it's down for it sense. at all. Do not touch the Powerpuff Girls. Like, leave it alone. No, no, they, they've they've I'm like so I'm angry. Sure they started filming. They started really? filming. Really? Started filming. Oh, yeah. God. Oh god. I'm pretty sure. Really? Really? Who's casted? That'll be interesting though, to see who's playing. Oh. Yeah. It's gonna be someone bollocks. Strange, it's gonna be bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> and like Jimmy Neutron, love Jimmy Neutron. Yes, oh, yeah, Jimmy, Jimmy Neutron. Neutron was good. <laughs> and what about like, hey do you remember Ned's, Ned's Unclassified? Yes, yes. Hey Arnold. Yes. Yeah. And Ned's, yes, yes. And yes, Hey Arnold yes, too, yes. of course. Rugrats. And All of it. Oh man. my Just God, Rugrats. Rugrats. Live. Oh Rugrats movies God. were actually sick. People were great. They were great. Yeah, Rugrats, the Rugrats movies were great. Sick. They were fantastic. Oh and my God, fairly odd like, parents. Like Wild Thornberries, I loved oh. as well. Yes, oh. Wild Thornberries. Yes. <laughs> no. I feel like we're all at like three different levels, right? <laughs> Everyone's like excited we're all, about this. We're, all, hype. we're, like, we're all hyped. That's all that matters. <laughs> yeah. We're all hyped. That's all that matters. Yes, we're all yeah, having a good good. time. <laughs> we were going to ask you Not a few yet. like things at the end, but I feel like we should just end it here because this is a high note. And we. I, I mean, know. I agree. So. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. Let's end it here. Thank you so much for coming on, Amelia. It's been a pleasure yes. to have you. Thanks for having me last year. This is fun. fun. Yeah, no. Thanks um, for saying so much. And, also, and let us know your journey in terms of like. Like, you know, like we want to make sure that we follow you as you yes. reach new heights and things like that. So we'll definitely shout you out on that. And I was just going to say as that. well, guys, for the listeners, we've got another sh- radio show next week. We do. So you'll hear that anyway. Um, and that will come on. If you're an unsigned artist, let us know. Send us your tracks, whatever. 
and we'll yes. check them out and hopefully put them on. Um, but yes, until then, we'll see you. Oh, on also, the trip, listen to ah. Killer Track. Oh, listen, yeah, to listen to Killer to Track. Oh, yeah. Where can <laughs> we, <laughs> wait, no, we haven't even done it. Where can we find Amelia? Right, Amelia, what's your app? <laughs> You're hilarious. What? I was like, ah, ah. oh my god, I'm sorry. What's your at on um Instagram for your your one and for the track? <laughs> it's oh my one is Clark's underscore capers. Yes. And then killer Indeed. track. And killer track is killer dot track. Yes, and guys, you can find Killer Indeed. Track on all places. So like Spotify, iTunes, all the work, all the places that we're at is where not iTunes, mm. Apple Podcasts, sorry, um, is where <laughs> Killer Track's at. So yeah, yeah. Indeed. And that's it. Very <laughs> tasty. Very tasty indeed. Very tasty indeed. A town down. A town down. Peace out. A town down. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> Bye.